two semifinal berths at stake tonight. Game one, we'll have the Longhorns of Texas and the Jayhawks of Kansas. Vie for a conference championship here in the tournament to vie for a number two seed in the NCAA. Aldridge, first shot, she nails it. Better and better, but just hadn't been able to close out on any victories and did last night. Taylor with the rebound of the putback, and Texas wants to put a little pressure on. Brady Sanders finally getting healthy, getting more playing time, the better she started to feel. Well, we already see some of the guard depth that Texas has. And that helps when you hit the three. They just need to take their time getting these offensive fouls and turnovers. Tyler Johnson with the easy two. A lot of their offense generated way out front. Aldridge. Manny Allen over Boyens outstretched arm. Well, hush my mouth. Boy, McCarty wanted to pull the trigger on that. Ariel Atkins does and knocks home the three. Die for balls. And she was absolutely right. Kansas with numbers. Bocanet sees the opening with the layup. One minute left in the quarter. Rodrigo wanted it, got it, made it. Here is Aldridge. She has been a warrior tonight. Johnson, they leave her open for 18. That's a two. Atkins running the floor well, gets the pass, and it ends up in a layup. Nice pass ahead. That's how Texas wants to play. Clifford from North Carolina and Mackenzie Calvert, the transfer from USC, that will make an immediate impact when they're eligible next year. Aldridge. Right into the hands of Rodrigo. Two on two. Turns into a three on two, and McCarty with a layup. Three to shoot, Robertson, off the glass. She'll take it. Doesn't matter. Remember, Texas is really getting something going offensively yep. when Atkins was in earlier, and then she picked up that next foul that sent her to the bench. McCarty knocks down the three. Johnson over Lang, got it. That's why Johnson can be a valuable player. For, for Texas, the numbers. The three by Rodrigo just over the front of the rim. That's going to do it. Texas wins at the final 66-50. Now they get to wait and see who they play.